Autonomous is a core aspect of the FTC game. The robot moves in a predetermined route to execute tasks and earn points. But coding autonomous is known to be quite repetitive, hard, and time-consuming. This is due to the many lines of code that one must write to get a full autonomous done. And on top of that, teams normally have to repeat this process to create a variety of autonomous programs. To solve this issue, we created Master Odo, a custom-made program that enables the user to create an autonomous program without writing any code. To do this, we first needed odometry, which we explained in our previous video. With the odometry, our robot is able to know where exactly we are on the field. With this information, we can start creating steps which get us to our target position, such as moving from 2345. We can make these steps by executing functions in our bot code to move the robot from its current position to a desired coordinate. These functions are movement strategies such as straight, curve, diagonal, strafe, and spin, which we introduced in our last video. We also have compound movements which allow us to combine certain moves such as spin and straight and spin and curve. We enhance basic movements like strafe and diagonal to get us to our desired position more efficiently by adding a straight movement afterwards if needed. We have functions such as strafe relative and straight relative which move our robot a certain distance away from our current position. And lastly we have auto movements such as auto and auto line where the robot calculates the best way to get from point A to point B. With these functions, to get us from position to position, we can start combining them to form a route. To show this, we are using Master Odo Op Mode, which enables us to create these routes right from the controller. We have our start position at 5015, with your origin being the bottom left corner of the field. We instruct the robot to move to 7070 with the curve strategy at 0.8 speed. We hit start and the robot executes that command. Then from that position we can tell the robot to now just spin in place so that our heading is 0 degrees at 0.3 speed. And finally we can ask it to go to 2035 with spin and curve strategy at 0.5 speed. Once we create this route we can save it and replay it if we want. Programming on a controller isn't quite effective, so we created a custom GUI which enables the user to create routes and push them to the robot to then be played during autonomous. This is the Bot Routes GUI. As you can see, we have a variety of autonomous programs for both blue and red sides. Once we open up a file, we can see the many steps that make up the autonomous. You can also see the route drawn out on a visual representation of the field on the right. We also have the capability to have different routes depending on which zone case you are going to, such as to zone A, B, or C. And you can see how the route changes for each one. Opening up a step, you can see the many customization options that we have. We can dictate the condition for the step to execute based on what zone we detect. We can also add delays here. We can pair a bot action with the move, such as turn on shooter or close claw. Here we define the movement speed, strategy, and direction for when we use the relative movements. We can also define our heading. Lastly, we define our target position. We also have the option to use a name target, such as get detection result, which takes the position that our image detection algorithm outputs. In addition to editing existing routes, we can create new routes, clone existing routes to make changes, and mirror routes, which adjust the coordinates and heading so that it works on the blue side. Once we're done with creating the route in the GUI, we can push the route to the robot. This is done by creating a JSON file, which is pushed to the robot's control hub using the ADB shell. When the time comes to run the autonomous, the robot starts parsing through the JSON file and executes each step in order. With this functionality, we are able to quickly create and adjust an autonomous program. Additionally, since we are pushing the files through ADP, we do not have to restart our robot after each push, which makes the debugging process much easier. If you have any questions or ideas on ways to improve this method, feel free to add them in the comments below.